In this video, I want to take you on a tour of my back patio, and I'm calling it the ultimate patio because it's just like I want it. Uh, so how I want to do this is I want to take you in and out of different video clips of the actual projects. You'll hear the voiceovers that are in the videos, so it'll cut in and out. Um, there are a couple of projects here like this particular end table and the patio table I did not do videos on but I'm using the Rockler hairpin table legs which made things really simple uh, I made the our patio table out of the slab and used 28 inch hairpin legs turned out great so if you've never used those before give them a try and you can get them at rockler.com now the first project that I want to show you guys are the DIY patio chairs these turned turned out great so take a look and listen to the video here uh, are the second version uh, that was created and the seat backboards here in this uh, clip needed to be uh, trimmed down or ripped a little bit more at this point to allow for movement and uh, just for overall aesthetics needless to say I had to remove all of the screws in the back and seat to do that it's just all part of learning this of course is just a nice simple seat cushion I drilled two small holes near the bottom corners uh, where the seat is uh, just to allow the strings to feed through and tie them on here are the black cup holders I went with I think they look better with the, the dark wood and black hammered nails so I am very happy with how these came out and since making them I've had several folks sit in them and say they're comfortable they are slightly higher than a regular chair and the footrest is a nice touch as well click the website article link below for more details and the project plan okay so before we move on to the rest of the projects i want to stop and thank filter by for supporting this video filter by has been on board for quite a few videos now and some of my podcast episodes so i want to just thank them they've been really good to work with um, they are a family-owned business and all of their filters are made right here in the usa and if you use their subscription service and what i mean by that is they'll send you the filters they'll show up at your door and you don't have to remember to change your filters out every three months or how however often you change them out uh, which is a really nice service uh, but if you do that you can save five percent on the cost and plus all orders are shipped free within 24 hours check them out there's a link down below and tell them i sent you okay next project up is the outdoor kitchen absolutely love this project it turned out awesome take a look i was super happy with how the edge looked after cutting it to width um, you know i didn't have to do anything as far as sanding it was a pretty pretty smooth finish um, and i also decided to cut off the corners to provide some visual interest and to be able to access the light switches and plugs that i installed for lighting now as far as finishing the countertop uh, I opted to sand it first which is not necessary um, I just wanted to sand it with a high grit uh, just to give it a nice even clean surface before I applied any finish to this uh, and I could have left it just like this uh, I opted for the matte countertop and so I wanted to just see if I could add a little bit of shine to it and so I'm using a wipe on poly here I think I added about three coats and then once it dries it looks really really good I love a matte finish uh, but with these coats of poly it kind of gives it um, that subtle shine which is really what I was after so I, I just I really can't put words into how I feel about how this project came together I'm looking forward to being able to uh, enjoy this and uh, share it with others and, and just really have a place to entertain outside so, all right next project that we're going to talk about is the DIY patio pergola another one that I really enjoyed building this one was a lot of fun um, so enjoy the video clip here this week's project is one that I've been wanting to get to for a long time and now that spring is here the timing couldn't be more perfect so, and I made sure to dig those holes that you know they were going to be wide enough and deep enough to support the completed project um, and this is going to be placed right outside the patio uh, behind a small picket fence that separates the patio from the yard uh, i just didn't want to take up any 
uh, of the patio space and and that's why uh, I'm placing it here uh, and I'll drill through these corner braces with a 3 8 of an inch drill bit or as in this case I'm using a what I call a bell hanger it's just a longer uh, drill bit but it's 3 8 of an inch uh, and this is going to allow me to insert uh, the bolts that will secure the support pieces to the main post and the cross member itself uh, and this will secure everything in place top or the whole all of the two by sixes that I've already put into place this really just tied everything together and just really secured everything the final steps here are to sand away the rough areas stain it and add a protective finish and with that you can pretty much call this pergola complete so I thought this would be a cool video to do just to kind of wrap up the patio project and kind of let you see what it looks like as a whole now all of these projects have website articles I'm gonna link those down below some of them have plans I'll link those as well so if you missed any of them please go check them out share them with your friends leave me a comment as to which one is your favorite I would love to hear from you if you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching